Today's plan up here in the attic is a fairly simple one, but it might become a little more complicated depending on if I feel good and if I'm like feeling a surge of energy and excitement and determination. We'll see how it goes. Let me show you what is the priority though. down these totes so all of the holiday totes the Christmas I know there's those ones there of ornaments and there's another one back there that got thrown back there when the kids and James were bringing up all the camping stuff and tossing it up here which was um, the catalyst for starting this project was when all that happened so uh, in a funny way I'm grateful <laughs> <laughs> that they did that because it got me up here and look at what we have gotten done because of it feeling pretty good feeling pretty fabulous so okay uh gonna get all these totes down and go through them and make some tough choices there are a couple of other totes that I have shown you before that have quilting things and uh baby mementos not gonna deal with those we're going to just leave those up here for now and in the location that they are. Going to bring down this shelving unit and deal with it. And finally, bring down all of the fabrics over there, sort through, decide what we're keeping and what is going in the yard sale. Those are the top priorities, uh, but, but the, the very top priority is Christmas. Bringing the Christmas stuff down and finishing the project I started yesterday. Going to go through another round on that tote there and see if I can make some difficult choices. That tote is stuff that's definitely going bye-bye. That will be in the yard sale. But I want to fill that clear tote and at least one more. I know, I'm, I'm making <laughs> big big goals, and, and but hey, shoot for the stars, okay? Uh, but anyway, not just Christmas. I'm going to go through the Easter, the Valentine's, the 4th of July, and the St. Patty's Day and try to clear a bunch from that as well and get those miscellaneous holidays down to one tote. I'm a little nervous about doing that, but I'm feeling a lot better about that kind of thing than I was in the beginning. The more difficult choices that you make and the more that you get rid of stuff, especially stuff that you thought you wanted to hold on to, the more that you're able to do that, it's like it gets you revved up and excited and more capable and able to make more of those tough choices and to let things go. Something that has been helpful and motivating lately is all the horrible, tragic fires that are happening in California. I am originally from California and my own hometown burned down about three years ago, including my grandparents' home. If you've been with us a while, you'll know about that. And it's fire season again, and so many homes, hundreds of homes, have been burned down, and people have lost everything. And um, I know some of our own viewers have been through that themselves, and what a horrible, horrible situation. But what I'm trying to do is to take that kind of horrible situation and other uh, situations and harness the energy from that. Instead of um, you know, bemoaning the situation and the fact that I am helpless to do anything about it, I want to take those feelings of helplessness and turn them into action. Action here in my home. Let that motivate and inspire me, and hopefully you guys as well, to downsize and to prioritize. And if there was a fire, oh my goodness, I, I really hope none of, no one else goes through that. I wouldn't wish that on anybody, but if that were to happen, what things would really matter? I mean, what would really matter? What things would you risk your life to get out of the house? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difficult question, a tricky one to ask yourself, but I am going to be asking myself that continuously as I go through this. Now, obviously, Christmas decorations are not something you're going to risk your life to get out of the house. If there's something incredibly valuable, you should have insurance on that anyway, right? And if it's like a, a really important family heirloom, even if it's a Christmas thing, that should be somewhere where it's safe, right? My Christmas things, as much as I love them and they're fabulous and all the holiday stuff, I would not risk my life for them. I wouldn't. And these things are in my attic. 
and potential fire hazards if not stored properly and if we're not taking care of all of this and if stuff is just piled up, flammable on top of flammable. So in a sense, having them here is risking our lives. Not just mine, my whole family's. And these are things I'm trying to keep in mind, not to freak myself out, but to encourage and to motivate and inspire. These are some of the things that I found when going through all those notebooks and um, notepads and stuff yesterday. They were like kids, uh, the kids' special papers that somehow ended up in there. So now, bringing them up to put them away. This is the worst one, the biggest and the heaviest. I am not bringing this thing back up here. This is the last time. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Gotta keep reminding yourself of the progress that you have made. It is vital. I can't even believe, oh my goodness. We've, we've come so far. We really have. As I was moving some things, I noticed, hey, there is my crock pot and my canning pot. Ha ha ha, I found them. So those, are going to go over here where the food dehydrators are and uh, I think that'll be the perfect spot for them and now I know where they are I can put them over there so that I always know where they are after that I am going to get this shelving unit down 
Yep, got to get that done. And then the fabrics. All this other stuff, these are large frames and posters and poster board. That'll be on the list probably for tomorrow. Forgot. Those candy canes are still up here. <laughs> uh, okay. Got to move a couple things over here so that we can put these pots over there and then move a couple things so that we can get to the fabrics. I think that's also back there is where I have the rest of my lights, my um, twinkle lights, which inspires me and motivates me to gather up all the lights, not necessarily deal with them today, but at least gather all of them up. See that? Isn't that great? We've got the cherry stoner, the canning stuff, the more canning stuff, dehydrating stuff. I have an apple peeler that's down in the kitchen. I'm going to bring it up here and put it with these things. They're just the stuff that we don't use that often, but I want to hold on to them because we do use them. So yeah, pretty cool. This is a nebulizer. Uh, it's my, my extra. My old one still works fine, so I haven't started using the new one yet. I think that's as good a place as any for it. But now we can finally get to the fabrics. These are all the posters, poster board, and frames that I mentioned. I can tidy this up a little bit at least. We move some of this over carefully. See, there's more frames back there. Oh. This, this is another day, guys. I am not doing this one today, but we will go through all of this. The poster paper, we're keeping all that. The kids use it for school projects, and I use it when I'm having a yard sale to put up signs. So we're holding on to that. All the poster paper is, of course, from the public school dumpsters, um, but we will get to it. There's also the Christmas tree back there, the big one and the little one. I will get those into their boxes. Yes, even though we will be getting them out again in just a little while. <laughs> I want it done right to get myself in the habit of continuing to do it right. Do you know that's a box of ribbon and a random skeleton. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this. I forgot there was a box of ribbon up here also. So, okay, time to drag all of this out. Those are the fabric. That is ribbon. These are lights. But there's more stuff back there. So what I'm going to do is scoot this shelving unit over so that I can get to what's back there. Then I can scoot this shelving unit back. And then, not today, deal with those things. I terrify myself sometimes. Often on purpose. Roller coasters, jumping out of airplanes. Other times, absolutely not on purpose. Holy shit, you guys. Holy shit. Sorry, I know I usually filter, but this is, this is terrifying. Look at all these wires. I don't even know which ones are like just loose cords that are up here and what ones actually go to stuff and are live wires. Oh my God. I, I'm literally, I'm having to hold this so tight. I'm shaking. I am just, they go under these boards too. So whenever my husband and my brother-in-law did new lighting and stuff. I guess they didn't drill holes or whatever. I'm not faulting them. I know it's a lot of work um, and I don't know what that does as far as stability, but I think wires are supposed to go through like these studs, right? Am I right? But they're not. They're just laid everywhere and that is terrifying. Um, and I've got all this stuff. Jeez. Okay. Well, plans have changed a little. Whatever energy I have left is going to go towards moving as much of this as possible out of this area over there. Because over there, you can see, I was right. The wires do. They go through the boards. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, new plan. Uh, I am going to get all the fabric stuff downstairs as originally planned. But then the rest of my energy, 
is going towards moving as much of this out of here, out of this side of the attic as I can. This has definitely changed um, how I'm going to have this. We're just going to utilize that side of the attic for storing things, which sucks because this side is higher and you can fit more over here, but it, I don't know when and if that'll ever be dealt with. So I can't have stuff sitting on top of it. That's, I mean, asking to have your house freaking burned down. Hey, I censored there. No, all of this has got to move over there. Anything that's staying up here, the suitcases, the canning stuff, that's got to go to the other side. And then these things just have to get out of here. I got the tent and all the uh, suitcases and winter stuff, gloves and hats moved over. I got the rest of the Christmas lights that were over there. Um, I'm going to take all that down. I'm going to grab those spools. I have cleared uh, what I think were the scariest parts over there. There are still boards that need to be moved. Um, uh, I've moved all this over here to see what exposed wires there are. All of these boards are going to have to be moved. Um, but I've got to take a break. I feel like I'm going to pass out and that's not safe up here. <laughs> no. So um, I'm going to get the lights down and then I have to take a break, which sucks because it's just going to get hotter up here. But for safety, yeah, this is, ob ob oh man, I, I, I do need, I need a break. This is absolutely a safety issue itself, but I'm just going to have to hope that our luck <laughs> continues because I need to go rest for a little bit. I need to rest. <laughs> In case you thought I was exaggerating. Yeah, gonna take a rest. You know, one thing that is really coming from all this, the up and down and the up and down and everything, I think I'm gonna be ready to go hiking. In fact, I think I'm gonna try hiking this Friday. I think this has been a lot of good training for it and uh, I'm ready for another break, like absolute break away from this. And I think hiking is just the ticket. Thank Well, I did take a little break, a little one, and then I got back up here. I was just motivated by fear <laughs> and terror ah, and worrying that my luck would soon run out. <coughs> so I came back up. So I've gotten the majority of it moved and now piled over here, which is frustrating, uh, but that's the way it is sometimes, you know? And what I'm thinking at this point is if I'm going to keep these wooden ones up here, I can use those maybe for this stuff. Well, no, actually, I don't think they're going to fit. Dang it. What I was hoping was to be able to get this just out of here, just take it down. Um, needs to be cleaned for sure, but... Oh, that could have turned out badly. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, there's a lot that could have turned out badly. We've been really lucky, really, really fortunate. So maybe this will have to stay up here. I'm just going to have to um, rethink some things. We're going to end up utilizing this back corner over here. Um, I had really, this was my plan, was to have everything over here. But until we get this sorted out, I just can't. I can't have stuff on top of these loose wires. An option, now I said I've decided not to put a floor up here because that just encourages adding more things. So what um, an option I have is to uh, drill some holes, put in uh, some supports on top of the beams, and then drill in these boards over the supports just in that area so that uh, nothing is sitting on the wires but so that we can still utilize that space. Um, that is definitely not happening today uh, and not during during this, um, this project. It's just, I've got to be realistic. That is just not, it's just not. I have so many other things to do. I have all of that to go through. That is just not going to happen. So um, for now, 
will just uh, stack this <laughs> over there somewhere so that at least I've gotten everything off of there. Then I'm going to move these boards, start piling them up in a spot that I can see clearly does not have any wires, stack all the boards out of the way so that I can assess what the situation is. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. If you were shocked before, get ready to be horrified. And it's not all my fault. And hallelujah that it is not all my fault. <coughs> I am for reals done after I show you this because the dust is getting to me now and all this exposed insulation is not good. This absolutely does need to be covered. It's, I mean, not that this is a place should be, it should be hanging out, but even having to come up here just to get the camping stuff is, anyway, oh my God, you guys. Now I did not do all of this. I have to point that out for you and for me because I know I know I did not do this. Now it feels mostly empty. At least there's that. But what is that doing here? What is that doing here? In the hot attic, under a board, next to wires. I, uh, now these all look like they're just extra and they're loose. So that helps. That helps knowing that some of it is just dead wire that was left up here, that does help, okay? Um, and I want to gather the dead wire so that I can assess this situation. Ugh. Do you know, actually, this is helping me feel better. Look how much of it is actually dead wire. That's a little less terrifying. Well, actually, where does this one end? And where does it go? I don't know. Is it just stuck under these boards? This better be dead wire. Okay, geez. But I don't think that one is. No, that's, that's live wire. It just didn't go through the posts whatever these are called, studs. <sighs> but that all is dead wire. Even so, all of that wire there has been compressed all this time with tons of stuff on it. <sighs> and stuff like that in between. I just, oh, guys, geez. Now, this wire here it actually is for the antenna. There has to be some kind of, I mean, I don't, I'm not an electrician. Is there actual electricity going through this? There has to be, right? I don't know. But what I saw that scared me to death, part of it's totally flattened because there was a board on top of it and stuff on top of that. And it was like on one of the beams. Maybe that's why that antenna doesn't work. <laughs> At least not as well as it used to because it was getting compressed. I don't know how dangerous that wire would have been as far as a fire hazard, but I know that's not a good thing, right? But look at this. Ah, yes, I am relieved that all of this was dead wire. Hallelujah for that. But still, and then we've got wires there. And is this proper? I am so bringing that up to my husband. Is that a safe way? I mean, is that a live wire? I don't know. Is that how it's supposed to be done? Shouldn't it like be capped? Is electrical wire, or I mean electrical tape enough? I don't know. I just know that this is right above where I live. Our family. This is where we live. <sighs> I know, I know, I said I was done and I'm all messed up again, but, but I'm glad that I did what I did. I am. I got that second wind of urgency. <laughs> Things are changing and that is what matters.